Hi everyone, this is a video which is going to show you all about a new app called Moat and it is a voice notes and feedback app which you can use to provide the children with feedback on Google Docs, slides, sheets, on the Google Classroom stream, um, so it has a many benefits. So I'm going to go through this video and at various times through it, I'm going to say that I'm going to press pause and this gives you an opportunity to do the same. Press pause on the video and follow my steps. Okay, so let's begin. The very first thing you're going to need to do is download Moat and you can do that by going to the search bar at the top of the page and just typing it in. Once you've done that, it should be the very first thing that pops up and you'll see Moat Voice Notes and Feedback. Click on that and it will take you to the Chrome Web Store where you can just add the Moat to your Google Chrome. So once you've done this, um, and I'm going to suggest that you follow these steps um, and then quickly press pause so that you've installed it. You don't need to watch it happening on my screen um, and just work your way through this very first bit, which is just um, identifying who you are, etc. So press pause here and finish this step. OK, hopefully you've gone through all of that and you saw that I asked you a couple of questions just for research purposes as this app has become um, very popular in the last couple of months since lockdown restarted. So when you've downloaded it you and you've put in all your details, um, you want to add it to your extension, which you can do up here. And I'm going to quickly put it on again. You can do the same. OK, so hopefully you've downloaded uh, the app and it is all ready to go. I'm going to show you a the menu bar, which is super important and has all your key information. So after you've pinned your um, icon to your extensions, which is up here, then you want to click on that and you can find sort of a the equivalent of a menu bar. And right here, it tells you who I am. It shows you a list of my uh, recorded moats, my most recent ones, which you can actually duplicate. So if you've said something and you don't want to keep saying it over and over again, you can duplicate something you've already said and use again. You've got your account details, which is basically saying that your trial is, um, is unlimited, your account. Um, and in the video, I'll keep going on. I'll explain to you exactly what all of this means. And right here, it's got enable extension, which is super important in order for it to work. But this part here is the most important. Under settings, you will find what I think is the biggest selling point of Moat. It has voice transcription, which means it is going to translate what you're saying into another language. Now, the languages are limited, but they are there. So here is a quick look of what is available. We've got Arabic, Spanish, French, Mandarin, Polish, Portuguese, Turkish. It is brilliant. There's a large selection that you can use. And I'm going to leave it on English at the moment so that you can see what it is transcribing as I speak. And then I'm going to show you in our example how to change that language. Um, it is a fantastic tool and honestly is so valuable considering it is free. So let's go to an example. I'm going to open up my Google Classroom and show you some work and how I'm going to use Moat to allow me to feed back to the child. OK, so here's a piece of work that a child has submitted into my Google Classroom. As you can see, everything looks the same like it normally would, except from over here, you'll see that the purple icon for Google or for Moat um, is right in the private comment box. And you can use this right here to uh, record your feedback. So I'm going to show you an example and then I'm going to play it back and show you what you can do with it. Hi, Gareth. Thank you for submitting such a wonderful piece of work. I can see that you really try to create a visual image in the person's or your reader's mind. I'm going to ask you as your next step to really think about what the target was. Your sentence was meant to start with suddenly. So think about how you can add that in without going over your 100 words. I look forward to seeing what you've done and for your comments. OK, so now that I've done that, I don't know why I made it so long, so sorry about that, but um, I can now post it 
and you will see as that's happening uh, that it's going to start transcribing everything that I've said. Uh, you will see occasionally there will be a couple of errors and again it's quite good and will usually uh, correct that. So if you were watching that video you should have seen that the name changed from Doris to Gareth um, and I'm going to show you what we can do with this now. So when that child opens up and you return the work, um, you, they will immediately see this comment and you can edit this and you'll see the whole. Hi, Gareth. Thank Sorry. you. Thought. You'll see all of the transcript there. Now, remember earlier we looked at translating. Now I can change it to any language that is available and I'm going to go for French. At the bottom, you'll see in a moment. Oh, quite quickly. It's already changed that. So now Gareth can hear me saying it in English and he can also read it in French. And I'm going to just press save on that. OK, and exit. So that is available at all times. And again, if you go back to the demo classroom um, that I'm showing you here, you can see the same comment over here as well. Um, and that is an example of how to use it. So I'm going to ask you to please go into a classroom um, if you have one available to you. If not, then open up a piece of work that you've already done and try to leave a comment on it. If you are using a blank piece of work that isn't in classroom, then you use the moat the exact same way you would on a comment. So you want to select right click and go to comment and you'll see right here. Oops, scroll over that you can leave a moat comment here. And here's one I've done earlier just to show you um, an example. Again, this could be heard by teachers, parents and of course the children. So give that a go if you have any questions about how to use it or any other questions regarding it as we go, let me know. There's one very piece, uh, very important piece of information that I do want to let you know, and that is that Moat records for 90 seconds for the first month. After that, it does reduce to 30 seconds. 30 seconds might not seem like a lot of time, but as I've been using it, what I do is I usually address different things in my voice notes. So I might have two, which addresses a very particular point and then the second one addresses the second thing which actually I found quite helpful because it means I'm not rushing through what I want to say and I know that each the child can address exactly what it is that I'm saying in each comment. Another fantastic feature of Moat is that it also tells you when and how many times your voice note has actually been listened to. There's no point recording or doing all this marking and we have no idea if the child is taking it on or if they've even seen it. But this will let us know 100% that your voice note has been played. In my uh, presentation that I'm going to do today. I'm going to also have on my slideshow a couple of examples from parents where they have praised Mo, especially when they're not quite sure on how to do something, and we explain it through uh, the voice note. So hopefully this has explained how to use that. And my video is about to run out, so I'm going to stop now. If you have any questions, please let me know. And of course, uh, you can email me.